going to show you how to replace the clutch on a PW80. You're mainly going to need um, a number three Phillips screwdriver. Um, I would suggest one of those impact screwdrivers. If not, you're probably going to strip the bolts. Um, a 10 millimeter and maybe a pair of pliers. So first you're going to take out this 10 millimeter bolt on the Kickstarter. You're usually going to have to pry it off with a screwdriver. And then we're going to undo all of these screws or bolts, whatever you like to call them. And we also have to take out the foot pegs. So we just take out the cotter pin and then take off the foot peg. Then we can take off the cover easily. Also, you want to soak your clutch plates in oil like I've done over here. So, um, yeah, you want to soak them for the time being. If not, the clutch material can burn up pretty quick. I've uh, taken all of the, um, loosened up all the bolts, taken out the uh, fuel fill cap, and then now you're just going to want to try to wiggle this back and forth. You may have to pry it in a few places, but you just want to pop the cap off. Luckily, Yamaha, they've given us areas to put a screwdriver and hammer to try to pop off the cap, which is really nice. Now what you're going to do is, you see there's these two little clips. Those were here and here. You're going to pop those off with a flathead screwdriver. And there's this large retaining ring that goes all the way around that you're going to pop out with a large uh, flathead screwdriver. So it's going to be pretty difficult, so I can't film it. To you take out that disc, you have to be very careful because there's this disc that has a bunch of springs on it, just like that. And then, since my clutch is still hot, because I just cooked it today, um, you just want to be really careful. And these are your clutch plates. So, um, I'm just going to replace these. Hopefully this will solve the issue. Pull out the clutch pack, you're just going to be replacing these discs one by one. Um, I, I think this clutch plate might be warped. I don't know. Um, if it is, just throw it down in the comments and then I might pop this back open and have to lightly sand it with like some 800 grit sandpaper. But um, I don't know what, what that is. Kind of odd. That might be a reason for the clutch slipping because there's still arguably plenty of life left in these discs. So it might be that. If the new discs don't solve the issue, I'll just lightly hone those plates. The new clutch plates in. I also wanted to mention that I did make a mistake. You did not necessarily have to take off these because that would just open up this um, contraption, per se, this spring apparatus. Um, so remember, you don't really have to do that. You want to put the shiny side down and um, just make, make sure you're lining it up appropriately and just try to wiggle it in. And then once it's in like so, there's still going to be a bit of spring tension. So what you're going to want to do is try to wiggle this on, and then you're done. So once you put the clip in, you might get it in lightly. A trick is to just push down on the uh, pressure plate like that, so it relieves the tension on this retaining ring. So it'll just seat in properly. And now all you're going to do is you're going to just put that cover back on, run it for a bit, and I would suggest changing the oil really quick after, because it's going to release a lot of friction material. Just uh, put the bike back together. I'm going to try the clutch in a minute, but um, it's, it's a really easy job to do. One thing you might want to look out for is replacing this gasket if it tears, uh, but that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.